Aloha, my name is Alyssa McDonald and I'm applying for the Excellence in Online Teaching Award for Guideline 6, Assessment and Feedback, with my Biology 172 Introduction to Biology 2 Class and Lab Co-Requisites. These courses serve as survey courses for biology majors and will set the foundation for their biology knowledge, so we cover a large range of topics and chapters throughout the semester. I address guideline 6.1, Assessments Measure Course and Module Objectives, by first creating a course map that guides my course design. In each of the weekly tabs, I post lesson objectives so students understand what they will be learning each week. You can find them here. The lesson objectives are tied to the course learning outcomes and will help the students see what we're going to focus on for that week's lesson. I address guidelines 6.2, regular and appropriate assessments in the class with weekly quizzes and discussion posts. The assignments are listed in the Do This Week area so that students can check off as they complete them. Every week they have a quiz in the course because like I said, we're going through a lot of information and I want them to retain this information as we go along. The weekly quizzes are formative and lead to a summative midterm exam and a completely summative final exam for all the information we've covered over the semester. In the lab section of the course, each of the labs are formative and lead to summative lab projects. So you can see labs 1 through 4 cover all different topics of plants, including things like plant life cycles. You can see all the learning objectives are within each of the lessons so that they know what they should be learning within that lab. And it leads to a summative formal lab report where they apply all the plant knowledge they learned in labs 1 through 4 to the plant diversity in their ahupua. I've included resources from the library to help them. So this is Anne Marie's Ahupua resources in her lib guide that's linked right into the page so students can help search their area and identify and have a better sense of place. I address guidelines 6.3, provide clear assessment criteria because all assignments have their rubrics. So if you go into the assignment section of each page, you will find a rubric similar to the Formal Lab Report 1 rubric. It breaks down each of the sections of the Formal Lab Report from title and author to references, goes into detail and what should be included in each section, and then provides a grading rubric that I encourage students to utilize as they're getting ready to turn in their assignment, making sure that they have all of these parts to earn the appropriate points within that section. I also have rubrics in all of the class assignments. For example, here are the rubrics for their discussion posts, which is right here. So you can see the one they've just completed is sustainable agriculture possible in Hawaii. If you click on the description, the rubric is posted here and breaks down what a good complete discussion post will have in order to earn them full credit for both the initial post and the response posts. I address guideline 6.4, provide opportunities for self-assessment in several ways. For example, for their midterm exam week, I have the Kahoot game built into the course so that they can go through and review some questions that they may see on their midterm exam. This allows them to immediately get feedback in this asynchronous class. I also offer optional Zoom sessions for the students and ran a Zoom review with them using the same Kahoot quiz. Students can take this Kahoot quiz as many times as they like to help them study for this midterm exam. And additionally, in their resources tab, they not only have the PowerPoints, but review worksheets that I put together for every single chapter in the course. Again, this is a survey course. We go through 25 different chapters throughout the course of a 16 week semester. So these are ways that they can test their knowledge as they're going through chapter by chapter. I address guideline 6.5, set up an online gradebook for students. Each week, the grades are updated within the course and they're broken down into their subsequent sections, such as discussion posts, exams, participation, and quizzes within the course. Additionally, at the top here, they can see their course average so they know exactly where they stand in the course every single week as they go in and check their grades. Finally, I address guideline 6.6, .6, provide at least one opportunity for descriptive feedback. If you go into the quizzes for the course, I do have a midterm exam wrapper 
which was given just after the midterm exam, and it's made up of questions such as how much time did you spend studying, order the following study techniques from most used to least use, what did you find helpful, what components do you like the most, and what components do you like the least. This quick five question open-ended quiz gives them the opportunity to give me feedback in the course. Additionally, I meet with them weekly in optional Zoom meetings and host office hours where they can come and speak to me about this. I've also created this biology community where the students can talk to themselves and me about the different topics. So they have biology news, questions and concerns, inspiration and encouragement, fun things, and then this one is going to be required at the end of the semester. So advice for future students and each other. If they want to post to each other now, they can. However, you see nobody has posted except me in that section. At the end of the semester, they will be given credit for providing advice on how they best succeeded in the course. I take all of that advice and share it with the next semester's class so they can see how best to succeed in an online class. This Padlet is built into the Laulima page and can also be accessed through a separate link that I've provided for the students as well. This gives them multiple opportunities to engage with me either semi in person through our Zoom sessions or in the online community and asynchronously through things like our exam wrapper. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to tour my class with you. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know.